Hey, kia ora. Holland Brahms here coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona on this absolutely gorgeous, amazing, thankful Thursday. And it's also super fantastic and sparkling too. Um, how has your Thursday been? How has your thankful Thursday been? What did you do today? Did you look at any of the five things that we talked about this morning to help you get into an attitude of gratitude? Um, things like um, beginning each day with a grateful heart. Um, learning that gratefulness comes from the heart, not from the head. Um, being thankful in all areas throughout every moment of every day. Um, sharing gratitude through acts of kindness, you know, that pay it forward thing. And finding inspiration in songs, in um, movies, and books, and quotations, and people who you are listening to, you know, like podcasts and things like that. How has your Thursday been? Um, let us know in the comments below what you are most grateful for about today not from the week but what are you most grateful for that happened to you today that you got through um i had a tech a tech thursday which was a lot of technical challenges today um from not being able to make the digits work right on the keyboard to trying to log on to a mailbox power overview this tonight and um discovering that um my my, my um, wi-fi was down i was like ah why is it down it wasn't plugged in <laughs> <laughs> I'm going nuts. My computer's saying we can't get online. What do you mean you can't get online? And I go over and I'm looking at the at the little MiFi thing and I look at it and I'm, oh, it's out of juice. I had to plug it in, wait for it to do its little registration thing, and then um, and then once the registration thing was done, I was able to um, get it turned on and get on just in the nick of time to be able to do the introductions. So it was. Um, it was, um, yeah, it was, it was a little a little technically challenged today. And then I had some other issues as well. Things not saving, things looking different than they're supposed to. But, you know, I was grateful throughout it all because it reminds me that, you know, being more present in the moment, being more aware of my surroundings, like making sure that my MiFi is plugged in when it needs to be plugged in and that sort of thing. And now I've got some error message about frame rates. What the heck is a frame rate? I have no clue. Do you know what a frame rate is? I don't. But it's telling me it's either too high or too low and it needs action. Well, I don't know what a key frame rate is, so how can I adjust it? If you're going to give us messages for technical stuff, please make sure there is an explanation on this. <laughs> See, these are the sort of technical challenges I've been having, stuff I don't know about, and I'm now going to go learn what a key frame rate is. I don't know. But I'm um, absolutely loving this new solar screens that are in. Um, we are uh, this morning. I um, had the curtains open. I've got the front window open because I had the um, had a reflect a foldable reflectix thing that was across there last night, um, just for privacy. So I took it down this morning. Zephy didn't know what to do with herself this morning. Normally by 10, 11 o'clock, she's in the bedroom asleep. Usually about 30 minutes after we get back from our walk, she's in bed asleep. Not today. No, not today. Today she spent most of the morning up on top of the dashboard, looking out the window. Um, just watching. There was nothing going on out there, but she just laid there and just watched. Nothing. She watched nothing. She was just being present in the moment, watching for something to happen. Um, but she absolutely loved it. And we are sitting inside here. Yes, I've got both ACs going. It's about 84 degrees inside. It's like 114, 115 outside. So we're currently like 30 degrees lower than outside, which is awesome because when you're living in an RV, um, typically your ACs are designed to run t um, around 20 degrees lower than what the outside temperature is. Um, but we're, with the screens on, we've got that extra 10 degrees down, which is kind of cool, um, which is really awesome. So I'm um, loving the screens. This is our first full day with them on. So we're going to be, and tomorrow's meant to be hotter, slowly building up. Like tomorrow's meant to be the hottest day this week, I think it is. But our extend, um, ex excessive heat warning has been moved um, through to Sunday now. It was meant to end tomorrow night, but now they moved it to Sunday. So who knows? But anyway, that's what you know. I'm grateful for the for the screens that we have on that we've been able to keep comfortable inside all day. Um, I'm grateful for the technical challenges I have had that remind me that there are things I have to be aware of and to be and to be aware of them, not just take them for granted. Because sometimes we do take te technology for granted, and it's when it goes wrong it's sort of like it makes you think and you get a little more creative on how. How can I make this work? 
how can I make this work? This is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. My fingers aren't typing today. Like I was typing the word the, T-H-E. Do you know how many times I had to retype it? And for some reason I kept hitting the G, T-G-A. I'm like, how the heck am I getting to A? It's the wrong, it's completely the wrong finger for a start. You know, A is on the, this finger. This finger is at the E key. And I'm not touching it. It's this key's, you know, there was just some coordination stuff going on today. <laughs> um, occasionally I have those days where it's just sort of like the brain's working and the brain and the hands just aren't communicating at the time. But it's all over, it's all done, all the technical stuff is done. Now I can kick back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the evening. It has been a very long day, for which I am very grateful for all of the stuff I got to do today, all the people I got to interact with today. Um, met a really cool guy this afternoon when I was helping him um, build some campaigns. And it's just been overall a really, really good day, despite my technical hitches, because you learn from them. You learn from them. Like putting a reminder in my calendar to plug in my my phone because one of the things is they say don't leave it plugged in all the time when it's charged unplug because it, it, it's something to do with the life of the battery um and so i start the day off with it unplugged around lunch times the time i'm meant to go and plug it in um which i usually excuse me right, excuse me i typically remember to do this monday tuesday wednesday and friday because um I do work for somebody else in the morning and then in the afternoon I'm getting onto Mailbox Pal Chat and so I usually do that before I get on but Thursday today is the day that I start in the morning and I don't finish till mid-afternoon and Tuesday was the same day as well but I did happen to remember to change that thing because um, I had to end up working all the day on Tuesday as well um, but I did remember to plug the MiFi in on Tuesday. I forgot today. So I'm now, so what's the break, that was the breakdown. My MiFi ran out of juice. What is the, what's the breakthrough? schedule in my calendar a little thing that says plug in the MiFi, plug in the MiFi. So that is now in my calendar that will pop up with a reminder to remind me to do that so I will not run out of juice again. But anyway, see you learn from things, things that happen. So I'm grateful I learned a new, got a, got a new process in place. We had a breakdown, we had a breakthrough, it's fixed. Just like that. Um, but anyway, so that's it from us for today. I um, hope you've all had a super fantastic sparkling day. Please let us know in the comments below what you are most grateful for about today. Because um, we love to celebrate with you as well. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, please click the like button, hit the subscribe and ring and the little bell for notifications of when we um, post new videos. Um, go out and have a super fantastic sparkling rest of your thankful Thursday. And we will catch you guys back here tomorrow morning for fun Friday. What new card game did I learn this week? Hmm. What am I going to pull out of the fun tin this week? You will have to tune in tomorrow morning to find out.